Hi Divine Rebels and everybody stopping through. Hello you uh, unique <laughs> new subscribers. <laughs> Divine Rebel Young Bloods. This is Bohemia. I am Bohemia aka Hemi aka Hemia um, aka Witchy Mama <laughs> and this is the channel Bohemian Stars and Ocean Heart Readings. So we have Baby Magic in the background chilling it out. We have Witchy Pop Up. What can I say when you have Scorpio placements? We're up late nights y'all it's like 1 a.m <laughs> but we had a good family day a lot of resting i did need some rest my throat was getting a little um persnickety we've been doing a lot of lives we had the incognito red and we've been doing um a video a day so yes we did slow down a little bit i still haven't decided if i will do the video a day on the weekends um monday through friday definitely i'm trying but um i was like saturday and sunday we'll have to see hopefully um <laughs> so yes but we got so much needed family time which we have some every day of course but just you know really relaxing almost like a sunday but here on saturday so we really really needed that and i feel really good about it i hope y'all are feeling good it's a capricorn moon so uh, extra good time to rest uh, baby magic is a capricorn she needed a lot of cozy rest and so we have a lot of grounded soothing colors here we have some hematite runes that we will be reading in addition to your cards and we're going to roll some dice to see that change of fate that you've brought to this person because as you've seen from the thumbnail i hope it's a cute one <laughs> let me know if you like the thumbnails y'all if you want to comment about them i would love it because i so much fun creating them um hashtag uh pisces loves the arts um and creative things um but yes this video is about how you've changed them good or bad how they see it what has changed how spirit sees it whatever information comes through um yeah so we're gonna get into it and see we have six options here where is my handy dandy little <laughs> i had to move things around i was going to use um one more form of divination and baby magic took off with it and i have not recovered it yet today <laughs> but i wanted to do the runes and the the dice so we're going to go with those and we have the crystals here so option number one is um it's going to be one two three <laughs> one two three four five six yeah dance 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 go go um some of you need to dance more okay message from baby magic have you danced today are you balancing your chakras through movement flexibility are you releasing joy frustrations happiness opening up your energy field by dancing okay <laughs> for number one we have blue lace agate which is great for emotional balance when we need to communicate our emotions but we want to be level-headed about it okay it's a great crystal for children it's a great crystal especially if someone has cancer in their chart or water signs um, but it's really good all around for everybody so that's blue lace agate number one this is a rough uh, form that has some sparkly uh, crystals on it and then number two this is aquamarine juicy aqua I think it's starting to fade a little bit I'm like no don't fade on me hopefully it's just the lighting in this room but um aquamarine birthstone of pisces yes um aquamarine is also good for throat chakra communications but it's good at um helping us adjust our energy field it's very protective it's also said to be protective at sea and around water things of that nature but yes it helps us clean out our um you know if we're meditating into our energy field if we need more protection because we're very sensitive and it's hard for us to keep boundaries and like people get into our energy very easily that is a crystal that can help with that and that's a rough form of aquamarine we have another rough stone this is peach moonstone and peach moonstone is really good at healing um like it's so good at healing like friendship connections heart to heart connections when you feel like this is like these are my people this man you're like a sister to me a cousin like your friends that are like family like a deep loving vibe um anytime that you're gonna have like a community uh a he like healing circle or ceremony this is a very good stone to have around it helps us feel worthy of love and connection and it's really good at healing like the platonic and familial levels of love that help us have you know firmer foundations for other forms of love number four we have selenite this is a tower form selenite is uh you know really good juju it helps to bring in really high vibrational spirits and it's really good at helping to cleanse especially when paired with black tourmaline um 
selenite brings yeah just brings in the higher vibes we have a selenite sphere up here i don't know if you can see the whole thing and um it's good for uh, meditation, for scrying, but it does help us stay a little bit focused on positive vibes and energies and um, bringing out the best of energies around, okay? No, no, no shade, no hate or hate, okay? That kind of vibe. Um, number five is this blue lace, uh, no, sorry, <laughs> excuse me, blue calcite, also rough. So most of the stones are rough except for the last one. Um, this is a gorgeous, uh, it's just kind of a blue blue yeah just like a actual blue true blue and um, blue <laughs> blue calcite is really good for um, throat chakra work again um, <laughs> we have a lot of that going on this one's very solid this feels like um, like blue jean like old true blue so if you need to find that truer strain within yourself like you're like I don't know what my authentic voice is anymore like what it what even is that you know this is like getting back to those primary colors that just basic um that the basic raw truth of yourself i feel like with this crystal and this, this is um the information of the crystals and also how these particular crystals work and what i use them with okay we have merlinite for number six this is a tumbled smooth stone that is egg-like shaped it is a like periwinkle gray blue and it has black marbling on it this stone is really good for calling in the muses um working magical things but it really helps to be creatively inspired and uh yeah to like see creative solutions to things but it really works for like um, magical practitioners creatives artists that that kind of energy um, generating that from the ethers and bringing through authenticity so sometimes i feel to let y'all know what the crystals do and people will really like that sometimes so all right so that's what i see for those crystal meanings for you we're gonna go ahead and get to the reading part and um all the information will be down below about the decks and that kind of stuff as per usual all right and thank you for the great feedback on the last video the video reply that was very much fun to do very much fun guys <laughs> okay so here we go we're gonna do this you can go ahead and click ahead if you want i like to do a light a nice chill slow moving of this and people tend to listen and hear the chat around Ooh, we got so much earth in the sky y'all so much earth in the atmosphere right now if you're watching this current time um, moon and capricorn is conjuncting saturn and pluto don't be too tough on yourself take a nap versus sit up and think about tough things if you're feeling a bit hard on yourself okay um a little bit subject to scrutiny we have um, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Mars all in Virgo, speaking of scrutiny, and we have Uranus and Taurus, so very Earth-heavy chart. We have Neptune and Pisces squaring all of that, but I feel like it's trying to come in and soothe. Like, being a Pisces, I soothe Earth signs a lot and help them be more gentle on themselves and others, okay, when they're being... Um, being just a bit too realistic right a bit too tough on themselves and others and i feel like that's the energy of the sky now it's like take take a nap you know be more dreamy relax a bit and try not to be too critical because it's it's not going to feel this uh, much pressure always you know it's not going to be this much um expectations on you okay it will pass the energy of this if you're watching it as i upload okay so blue lace agate for those of you that chose number one what changes have you made in this person or how have they changed because of you we're going to save that one because that's going to be a little advice at the end we have the king of pentacles we have the um seven of pentacles i had to take a look for a moment because they didn't put it on there we have the seven of cups we have the two of swords put that one there we have card 15 of the oracle which is gratitude that's so beautiful oh look at the jellyfish okay let's see from loteria we have el juice cleanse reversed i did go ahead and do reversals with these because they just seem to work and so we'll try that out for this reading um we have el tattoo and we have El Nail Art, okay? And then we'll wait for this advice for a moment. Um, let's see, for your runes, we got um, Othila. Oop, is this? Okay, it does have one. Njera. 
and Urus, which is like <laughs> loves to come out on this channel. I think every single reading we have an Urus come out in at least one of them. Okay. So how did you um, change, influence this person to change uh, their life? Um, I definitely see you brought in a new cycle here. Just looking at the runes real quick. I'm seeing a new cycle when it came to um, their spirituality, but in a physical, practical way. Some of you taught them to respect their families more. Um, I'm getting that because we have the rune of ancestors, and this is like an, a rune of like the ox. You could have a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo definitely here. This is strong Taurus energy in this one. You might have, um, through showing them an example or just maybe co parenting with them or something, you're showing them like you need to have responsibility. You need to show up for people. You need to think about the impact that you leave on others. I'm seeing this little cow up here. You need to um, be aware of the cycles that you pass down. Jedi here is an earth rune too, and it connects to um, cycles and taking the, right, the correct actions and things and being aware of like what you pay forward and what's coming back to you. And Urus is all about the tough work, right? Being able to put the rough work in. You make them sit, uh, sit and think and reevaluate about what they've done before and if they're getting a good turnaround for that. Um, so it's like, okay, this is what you built your life up to be but does it match you know this this dream vibe that you have about yourself maybe some of them they had a uh, pie in the sky kind of version of themselves they might have thought well may I work a nine-to-five so I'm a great person and I provide for my family but you might have shown them other ways that they need to be there for their kids maybe like with hobbies and things of that nature maybe they need to take care of their health more um, some of you you made them chill out about freaking about out about their health all the time they could have been too much in the gym too much uh, analyzing their bodies judging people by their bodies so you help them find some kind of clarity when it came to that and not be so stagnant some of them were very much into uh, bad habits like really rooted rooted bad habits and they just took it as like this is the way I am this is who I am this is who I'm always gonna be take me as I am and you slowly slowly painstakingly but surely help them change out of those habits and start seeing that they can be the one who does things differently whether or not um, people of <laughs> whether or not people of their social class or their family lineage do them a certain way yeah you think so or something baby <laughs> um yes you brought in the element of gratitude with them yeah so that they know to be more um thankful for what they have maybe they just really didn't uh think about that oops sorry my sweater was on my microphone a little bit um they might have felt like I don't know you know when people sometimes they have enough and they don't really they're not grateful for it they're just like well I work hard so you know I'm grr 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 like this I feel like for some of you this person was very grumpy <laughs> and kind of surly when you met them and they might not have had a lot of creativity and like vision in their life they um, for what it could be and positivity and like gratefulness for what they had and you probably came in and were like are you kidding me like you have a great family or you have you know an amazing sense of switch up their uh, their opinion on what they have and to utilize their resources better or at least appreciate what they did have if they didn't if they came from not having a lot you made them feel like you can be stable you can go and um, get a good job you can get your degree you can have consistency in your life basically like you can build up your root chakra things you're capable of being consistent you're capable of showing up for yourself and getting your health in check and um, but not having to have anxiety and stress in those things and so they really um, envision having a better life in those terms and I feel like they're, they have a lot of gratitude for you for that because it could have felt like a bit of a minefield for them navigating these things even if they appeared to do it well it could have been like they um, they might have had a hard time enjoying reaching those goals or maybe they just had like a lot of fear around their root chakra things um, and I feel like now it's a joy because we have nail art and tattoos like appreciating their body and trying not to uh, freak out about um, you know how they look and things as much trying to feel more comfortable in who they are trying to you know get a little into some styles you could have changed their style or had them bring out their style I'm looking at the nail art and on here they have El Hashtag, the piercing which is the heart that was pierced, El Gluten which is the <laughs> skull and crossbones, and the moon. Um, so yeah, you could have changed up their diet in some way. Um, 
they might have gotten piercings, tattoos, or started dressing in a different way, or felt free to come out and express who they are because you either you know talk to them about that, or because you do these things, and it makes them as they watch you from afar, it makes them want to also be able to flourish and like unfurl in this slow way like in this card it's so beautiful because slowly all of those fantasies are starting to bloom and actually come to life in real life and taking off some of these dreams off the shelf okay with these skull goblets which i love um i have some skull little mug jar kind of things <laughs> but not a goblet yet i think i did have one anyways i'm getting distracted you guys saw my cups you know i love my goblets and cups <laughs> if you haven't look at the tea video um which has ambient audio on there okay um and then the moon you made them open up from the heart more this person could have a virgo moon they could cap have capricorn taurus moon they could have scorpio or aries moon with all this piercing and tattoos going on um and i do feel a little bit of aquarius and pisces vibe okay so yes you helped open up their energy to be more um practical and yet universal you might hit their second house their sixth house or their tenth house you also might hit their 11th or 12th house okay um okay so um we're gonna go ahead and get into the advice how can you continue maintaining this relationship so you guys have the advice not to cut things off or if you do have to cut things off um for your own health um to do it to to do it softly to you know let the the situation kind of peter out as they say and gently um let the connection go versus cutting off an intense way cutting the person to the quick cutting them to the jugular any of those kind of things we have the yellow butterfly which is actually a symbol of children as you can hear in the back um maybe this person has a lot of childhood wounds and you don't realize like how much they're growing and changing um maybe what's good for their life is just not inherently good for your life for those of you who are at a crossroads of letting go um and so the idea is for both of you to have gratitude for the connection for what you did learn together and just to let each other go as much as you can without bad blood or negativity and particularly your advice to them um is to you know kind of see the good also on your part um there's always something to learn from someone i think sometimes when if we feel in my end we can get caught up in the fact that we are more than they are spiritually and that we're the one who's right or those kind of things maybe in particular instance instances but spiritually in the all that is there's always ways that everybody's kind of right or wrong or everybody could learn if we choose from each other and so the advice is to you know follow those kind of little butterflies i had a friend who was capricorn and she told me i didn't mention this but she said um that even if it was just a song like a beautiful song that she learned from someone she tried to take the good from the connection that she could um when it was time to leave the situation <laughs> if you want to know baby understands that she's an earth sign baby magic and she knows that she's a capricorn because when we sing twinkle little star we do an astrological version of it so she knows that she's a capricorn so that's why she's getting so hype so all you earth signs drop a comment a fist pump a, you know our our emojis for divine rebels is a sparkle the glitter with the fist pump okay drop that down for baby magic if you're an earth sign or you rock hard earth in your chart because baby Baby magic has been super hype for y'all throughout this video every time I talk about earth science and Capricorn so <laughs> she's going that 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 yes which is her like you said it <laughs> okay so let's get some dice and see how else I'm gonna see which ones that I get for you guys okay I got a green and a red again root chakra and heart chakra things um let's see how did you change this person two fives i feel like yeah i feel like you taught them to be a bit braver and being their authentic self um whether it was they came from a family that wasn't stable and to go and get stability and that was going against the grain and facing challenges or if they came from a family that was like you know had whatever level of kind of privilege or security or whatever and learning to go and be a bit um against the grain a bit off the mark a bit you know the black sheep of the family the left of field and you taught them to embrace that side of themselves to get into a bit of wildness you could teach them not to be so stingy with their finances as well as not to be so stingy with their heart and to open up a little bit more i feel like they could be so uptight and so um you you challenge those whole things you guys both might have this back and forth together of um 
how to be kind of this free open creative flowing people and spiritual people and yet how to be very secure in each other or um oh okay in each other for those of you um in relationships where that had a, a tighter bond in the in the relationship um but also in financial matters so you guys could definitely have earth and water and like your sun and moon or your sun moon rising or even like maybe venus mars mercury is all in earth or all in water for you and then there's like a the other is on the sun or moon or something right so there could be a big combination of that and like i said for some of you there's a lot of aquarius in here um so yeah you just gave them the the push to do things differently and to face challenges like just it's okay to go and face challenges when your heart feels blocked or when you feel blocked in your root chakra when you feel like you want to make differences like go for that promotion um be feel comfortable in yourself enough to give back to others to pass it forward to break ancestral lineage chains or family dynamics and do things differently for your kids for your household uh, for your education here baby Come. you want to get down <laughs> there you go yes so that is how you change them and help them <laughs> Baby magic said Capricorn dice anybody so that's what I see for you number one. <laughs> oh, you giving some kisses she took it but she's giving some little kisses okay <laughs> is that I think that's a very good barter in exchange baby kisses for a dice okay I would go for that um <laughs> please like share subscribe and comment and I'll oh witchy pup is not to be upstaged um so baby magic is earth water dominant and here is the water sun sign little Scorpio sun and moon puppy over over here said excuse me <laughs> i too i too like the limelight and she does have mars and aquarius so <laughs> they're at home with your reading you guys so please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you soon on another one all right you guys ready for number two we're gonna do reading number two gotta clean all these away I don't know why the screen has been like recording with like a filter on it mm -hmm. all right for those of you that chose number two with the aquamarine here move that pretty to the side let's see what you've got we'll put your runes here we got balance how did you change them safe space oh that's beautiful el mason jar global warming but it's the sun the moon we have the sun and the moon hanged man reversed we could definitely have some pisces um cancer scorpio we have the ace of swords we have air signs and fire signs so libra um aquarius gemini and we have sagittarius um aries leo <laughs> sorry my brain was like what 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 is that called um hey <laughs> witchy pup um witchy pup and baby are here so if you don't like that kind of reading go ahead and click off all right it's a free read on our channel our content okay it's so what we're doing the the names are that start with r b or s could be significant for you guys um let's see how did you change them i feel like you changed them a lot you change them a lot you help clarify things for them spiritually you help them feel like they could get up and go for things that they want in life okay that's enough Zora Neoma. That's enough. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, she's talking. Oh, is she singing? Oh, she's singing. Do you think so? Oh, thank you for that song. Thank you, Zora. <laughs> thank you, Baby Magic. Okay, so Suilo is actually the sun rune as well. So this could definitely be a sun sign, but it's almost like if you think of astrology, their sun and their moon, um, they could have their moon conjunct Neptune or their Neptune conjunct sun, or you could, but it's like you help bring out the best of it, all right? You help bring out the best balance of their chart, the best qualities. You help them get out of their logical mind. We have the Ace of Swords reverse, which is like having Mercury reverse, and maybe 
maybe they were um, their rising sign maybe they were much more like logical and using their rising sign as like a barrier you know they could have been someone who was more guarded and for some reason you open them up like safe space we have safe space with the mason jar which is like the barrel and traditional loteria so it's like you help them just open up like you might have had some cry sessions with them or after they talked to you they were able to just release and cry you might have been like what's going on with this person like they're so sensitive maybe they're a fire sign but around you like they're so sensitive and they're so open to different emotions and um um, you know there's this idea of like kind of um, therapeutic talks therapeutic communication feeling like they could trust you with secrets and um, ideas and just their their life plans and their their history that they couldn't trust anyone else with you could be someone that they bonded to through with the arts you guys could have shared very important music or creative projects you could be someone they definitely could do like yoga meditation maybe they trust you as a healer to even like read their cards for them or teach them about spiritual things and they they're not always like that it doesn't look like they probably usually have a guard up from who they accept different information to because they don't like people trying to encroach on their free will or program their mind they don't like people trying to give them a hard time about things like that all right so they see um they see you as somebody who not only is um, supportive of who they are and helps them clarify their deeper feelings on things, but you help push them along the path of their goals because we have right here, um, Rado, which I always think of as like the writer, um, but it is called, it's like the solar chariot basically. And then we have the sun. So this is the energy to actually like move, move forward, right? It's like the six of wands with like the wheel of fortune and the sun card energy so you really help them believe that they can achieve their best and with your blessing a lot because we have um burkana here which is all about fertility and abundance it's very empress like and we have that em this almost empress quality in this moon card um some of you could have definitely had children with them maybe you guys found out that you were fertile together and you didn't think that you could have kids i definitely see some of you literally had children with this person and um they never thought that they would maybe like the experience of parenting or that they would go down that road and you might have really encouraged them and either being a better um child to their parents parents or living their best young life okay <laughs> or and connecting with children and having their own child um you can also just help them feel more creative and like they can go after their dreams the things that things that they thought they could do when they were younger but yeah you really have this uh, sense of being a peaceful person for them that they can really come talk about emotional deep things um, upheavals uh, you make them put down their guard when it comes to their mind like they don't need to um, just like talk as much shit kind of as they do around other people and if they have you know some of them they have kind of put their foot in their mouth um sometimes or for some of you they're hot and cold and it's because they know that they can be very snarky and critical and nitpicking um a lot of the time they right they can be a little bit uh have the audacity you know they're kind of that person sometimes where they can it's like oh you have the audacity to say that and it's because they don't want to turn that energy to you some of you they already slipped up and did and um, for a few of you, it's the other way. This person usually is more fiery, um, or sorry, this usually this person usually isn't more fiery. And you've helped encourage them to kind of pop back and snap back at fools. Okay, um, so this person could have been like the the water sign that had some fire in their chart, and you came along. And were like, no, you need to know how to say something back when people give you problems, or stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself. Um, so it can go either way advice for you in this connection is the ace of cups i love it it's that energy that it's safe to love it's safe to grow things together it's safe to have a playful joyful connection um it's safe to put down your weapons and connect i feel like you guys just might have a lot of mistiming with each other and not really know if the other person wants to be as close um as you want to be kind of vibe um 
you could just feel like like it could be like a water and fire connection so water and fire can be so similar in some ways they're very spiritual creative and temperamental in some ways um, but they're technically polar opposite elements right so you guys could just have this missed timing I do see some Libras and like I said air signs here as well um, and the the energy is here that there is love okay there is love to work out especially with air and water connections too um, and to keep going and like just put just fill yourself in a place of love whenever you are feeling doubtful if you're feeling a little bit too vulnerable or insecure and you're not knowing how things will um how things will work out just know remember that safe space remember that connection that you guys have some of you have like sun moon connections with each other some of you have venus moon connections like very beautiful connections with each other in your astrology um you could have some neptune going around that can put some little dreamy disillusionment but it's kind of like um you do have a lot of good stuff between each other and can really help each other on your soul path moving forward so um try to focus on that and gain your own personal balance and then feel free to continue offering love to this person um, from a place of balance yourself and you won't overgive. all right we got the red and the white so you guys have a very spiritual as well as passionate connection um, we got a two and a one so spiritually it's maintaining your own boundaries spirit does want you to remember to have balance not to overly focus on being in their astral pulling them into the dreams you guys do have a lot of dreamscape and all of this very spiritual connection but we have the hangman reverse coming out of that and being able to make real life clear decisions out of free will as a very important part of this uh connection remaining its or uh, maintaining its health okay and so that's the spiritual advice there from the passionate advice you guys got the two so i think that you guys have a lot of potential if this is a romantic connection um if it's not a romantic connection for friendships and families um that energy would should be channeled more into the root chakra which would be very good at pushing each other towards success creating um especially if it's anything artistic or spiritual creating your own uh, vision and you could use like social media together you could use any type of um, yeah a unique talent that you have to help forward each other into doing that as a career like hobbies that you have passions that you have you could really help each other do that long long term and have your life be very peaceful and have your spiritual um, aspects of your life and your hobbies connect together so this person is good at seeing um, helping you see and you're good at helping them see how that can work together all right but if this is a romantic connection there's a beautiful energy for a passionate sense loving connection okay so that's what I'm seeing for you number two how you change them and a little bit how they changed you because I do feel like you feel that energy too from them and it's a very sweet beautiful connection from what it's coming up here in the cards so please like share subscribe and comment and I'll talk to you again on another one all right we're gonna do number three good okay <laughs> thanks thanks for the feedback don't pull that please that's for the microphone the audio don't pull that please thank you gonna... love it. you love it oh <laughs> she loves it though um peach moonstone number three for those of you that chose number three here let's see what you got how did you change them all right we're gonna save this oops save this card for after we have the eight of wands reversed we have La Morte reverse. Oh, this is the one that had a lot of cards. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. We have the seven, oh, the eight of cups. No, the nine of cups. <laughs> Sorry, they don't put them on there. I have to count. The ten of wands reverse. The emperor reversed. Five of wands. The sun card. All right, we have the four of swords. how to put these for a minute y'all we have the seven of cups um 18 that number can be significant for you intuition and then from loteria we have bad ombre ombre <laughs> we have a bad ombre y'all <laughs> we have the brunch reverse and the border wall reverse okay and then for the runes let's see what we got we got hagalas which always likes to come out too. We have Pertho. 
anyway, and we have Elgat Giz. Thank you. Oh, you're bringing that back? I got some more, sweetheart. You can keep that dice. Yes. Okay. So, what is going on with you guys in this connection? First, I see a lot of fire signs. Definitely Aries, Sag, and Leo. There's Scorpio energy here as well. And there could be a little bit of uh, Scorpio or Pisces, okay? So, <laughs> that, that. So, what I see here is that you guys have a huge impact on them, okay? A very huge impact on them in so many ways. We literally have the Wheel of Fortune and Death Reverse. They're still resisting some of the change, but you really, I mean, you knocked the Emperor off the pedestal. You came in like a bulldozer to this person, like, bam, like, just knock them out. Hit me with your best shot. Well, here's some butterflies. There's butterflies all over here. Like, we go and transform today, okay? Okay, bam, bam. Some of you came in like with a one, two sock. They could have been, you know, like Leo, Aries. They could have had this very proud energy and felt very secure in who they were and all this kind of stuff. But you were like, no, I see some baggage you need to let go. I see some bad habits you have. I see ways that you could be better. Let me upgrade you, Q Beyonce, okay? They're like, no, no, no. You're not as good as you could be. You think you are. But wait till I'm done with this makeover. <laughs> some of you really took it on as a project and you went in there to knock down down walls with this person like you just came in and it was like stick a coffin in me I'm done they thought that they were the way they were gonna be until they die and you were like oh no oh no we got options we are not done yet I'm about to make you into something glorious again the energy of butterflies so butterflies could be significant for you there could be something in the um in your name my nas my last name means butterfly so um <laughs> yes your eyes it's like with you guys just a look from you or just them thinking how you would look at them when they do certain things makes them straighten up and i don't know if you guys always mean to have this like taskmaster kind of vibe to them maybe you do there could be some virgo placements in here too <laughs> and some saturn contacts there could definitely be saturn contacts where you just make them straighten up okay we do have a little earth energy with the elk rune here um where they just feel like they have to kind of answer to you in some ways <laughs> all right that they don't want you to think negatively of them they want you to have a good um view of them okay they feel like you're good luck to them and they don't want to get on your bad side like that's a big thing they don't <laughs> they just don't want to get onto your bad side so um you guys could have had some chaotic times where you could kind of push back on each other and where you thought they needed to change and they were like you need to get over yourself kind of vibe and where they refused but i feel like a lot of the time even if your methods weren't always the best thank you baby um in the end they decided oh you know what <laughs> i would kind of be a better person if i listened to that advice damn um and so they ended up doing it they feel like you're a very good lucky person to them and that they i don't know they feel like they're more divinely protected when you're around they bounce back from things quicker there's a bit like there's good luck you have the rune of luck and the the um card of luck here with the wheel of fortune so they feel like that it's just meant with the sun here that you're in their life you definitely increase their intuition and i would definitely see them as being on a spiritual path so if you feel like they um are not spiritual i would watch out <laughs> they might be able to read you as good as you can read them because you really opened their inner eye you really helped them connect on things besides just okay here's me i'm going about my day i'm being celebrated whoop de woo this is what i'm having for breakfast like they might have been the person who's always like social media is like here's how i worked out here's what i ate here's what i'm wearing and all right so let's see which what advice you're given the tower <laughs> So the advice you're given is that, I mean, you're meant to kind of be hard knock with this person. You're not meant to, you know, bow out and um, gracefully just accept whatever this person dishes you. They are somebody who it takes, you know, kind of a stick of dynamite <laughs> up their ass sometimes to get them to get off their freaking pedestal to get them to relinquish control and so it's not to like just massacre a person i do feel like they have sensitivity and stuff they have a lot of skeletons in the closet they have a lot of harsh things that they have endured in their life they do have a lot of childlike energy deep within but they also have a lot of um you know pompousness and arrogancy and um or arrogance and and 
you know, they just kind of built themselves up with walls and pedestals and games. And you might be like, no, mm -mm. like, I'm not going to sit here and just be your little fantasy fulfiller and toe the line and let you do all this. Like, I care about who you are authentically. I care about who you are in a real way. This is about transmutation, transformation. And if we're going to be in each other's life, it's going to be authentic. It's going to be through the ups and downs. It's going to be as real people. Now, I do see you jumping out with this person like you're willing to do the work too and as long as you stay in that place that's the message for both of you be willing to stay in that same place and i'm just seeing all these eyes you guys watch each other there's an eye there this moon is actually an eye if you look closer this is like an eye this is like an eye so you guys do protect each other i do feel like you even if you guys are really intense with each other you have that like i can fuck with you but no one else better kind of vibe for some of you this might be a sibling actually um where you're meant to just yeah it's like to be a sanctuary to be a safe place for this person even while you're challenging each other just head to head man like damn um you guys could even for some of you, you could like weight train together you might have very just vigorous training that you do together or you're you have very high stakes you might be a public relationship to get like very um like public figures a power couple energy or that's what you're working to and i think instinctively like both of you don't want anything less and you know that and so you really want to push each other because you both do want a level of you know fame or um a level of like a platform where you can choose what you do with others you guys also kind of play some games of miscommunications or not miscommunications withholding communications from each other and so it's better when you guys are just blunt than if you try to be fake nice with each other and just withhold communication now they did learn that from you too <laughs> so they might gener generally communicate more um off the cuff and up front with people but for some reason they've learned that they can't always do that with you so there are some changes they're not always going to be for the positive they've learned you know that sometimes it's time to get scrappy with you they've learned sometimes they feel like they need to throw up boundaries with you because you can be rather invasive um they could feel like they've learned what not to eat from you so some of you do eat a lot of junk food or you do make like some bad fashion mistakes or you do just rush out and do things that they're like no that's no for me <laughs> And that's a no for me but overall they've learned that if you hold on to all this baggage it's gonna freaking kill you it's going to take away your personal power it's gonna keep you from achieving what you need to in the world like you've made them realize they need to be more open-minded with other cultures literally it could be like uh, issues of immigration hashtag free migrant children families belong together it could be um, uh, religious differences things of that nature um, I feel like you changed how they think about uh, life and incarnating and death. Maybe now they believe in reincarnation or you've added some new levels to them. There is a huge like incarnation vibe. They might think about past lives and things together, things of that nature. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot. You guys both, I think, affect each other very um, intensely. But I think, like, like I said, you came in like a freaking tsunami to them. A tsunami that was on fire and <laughs> they just don't know what to do. So you got... Um, the green dice and the white dice so you have um, heart chakra concerns a little bit of money but heart chakra concerns and the um the white dice here of spiritual concerns so let's see how did you change them okay you made them feel like they need to take more responsibility for their heart but also that they need to protect their heart so you could be someone that you kind of um there's a part of you that can be like a bit of a heartbreaker you might just they might feel like you just take your little boots and stomp all over their feelings um just crush them out and you might feel the same way that they've done it as well and maybe your response what maybe yours was a response to theirs um because they were so clueless and just kind of up their own ass maybe when you met um but it's like you again you guys are very equally matched in stubbornness and ridiculousness sometimes and um how much you can change and you know come back as a new you but also how much you could be so rigid and stay the same and so you've really taught them that like love is a choice like love is 
growing those feelings it's taking that seed of affection for someone and letting it flourish and grow through all different obstacles through you know it's like this little candle here see that candle and all of this going on and that candle like these arms trying to protect that candle from going out like you've taught them that like love is what perseveres love is who's there after all this shit has hit the fan again and again and again it's the butterflies escaping the bramble it's you know it's more than just like oh i have feelings oh i have sex sexual chemistry so i'm just gonna fall in line with this person like no it's it's a it's a choice it's something independent and it's heart to heart and that they need to really take a lot of time to decide if they're gonna put their heart as an investment in this connection and that your heart isn't just something casual to you know pick up off the road or to collect as an, um, another accolade or fan or something and spiritually they feel like you guys have partnership energy that you guys have past lives together that you have romantic connotations together um, that you guys probably have been power couples together that your spirits have a lot of reason for your connection this lifetime they feel like I feel like they've opened up to that you've changed their mind about things like that about connections after death about who we're connected to coming into this lifetime kind of like the butterfly it's like that's what I'm seeing they, it's kind of like they sat there and were like oh yeah the butterfly did know the other caterpillars before it became a butterfly so they're like thinking about incarnating differently so it would make sense that my soul knew their soul before we came into these bodies in this form of ourselves um, some of you lost contact for a long time and again you just showed them that that people can stick around like that your connection with people can still be authentic and true through all the years through and I, f I feel like a lot of government things too maybe some of them were caught up in the system maybe you guys got separated and like someone went off to foster care or something or someone went to juvie somebody went to military um, you guys were across different borders in different countries or just the chaos that is in you know politically all over the globe right now and social justice uh, concerns like you've just cho uh, uh, I was gonna say chose they slipped chose in there you taught them that they can continue to choose to be connected to somebody and that is something that's very important to them and I think very sacred to them that they've learned that yes there's luck and there's you know these connections from the past that we try to rekindle but there's also the fact that when souls want to be together um, they make a way and they they have love no matter what the connection is to each other and they feel like you've taught them that regardless of what the connection is that you have for each other regardless how much you guys can be just so stubbornly human and have your faults and be so flawed and as much as you know all of that's there I think they really love that they still feel like it's a choice and it's a choice that you would both make to stay connected spiritually and to keep working on things all right so that's what i see for you number threes please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you again on another one it was like intense energy y'all so intense all right <laughs> yes so many major arcanas all right we're halfway through someone's gonna pause and take a potty break thank you for watching it all the way through those who are or watching multiple options I appreciate it all right let's see what's next what's up next we have the selenite tower for those of you that chose number four all right let's see what we got get your runes up here all right we're gonna save this one for later for advice you might see some uh, rose petal dust around here from our incognito red check it, check out the community tab if you want to know what that's all about fun times how did you change them we have the fool card okay what else do we have we have the ten of swords the world judgment reversed definitely some big changes choices beautiful the energy of ma'at El Vape, El Acai Bowl Reverse, and El La Bomber Jacket. And this one we'll do in a moment. Okay, let's see what runes you got. You got Lagus, which likes to come out on this channel a lot. We got, um, what's this one called again? Um, now This. Wait, is that Now This or is that Gable? Let me look. That's Gable. That's Gable. Um, and then we have, this is Degas. 
the guys yes okay so what is the message you definitely had a big impact on them now in this one the fool is connected to scorpio so we have scorpio and aquarius energy uranus energy we also have a more scorpio and pluto energy and capricorn that's really big and some libra in this one could be some gemini's as well so definitely air um signs and scorpio kind of signs with a little bit of cap so what uh, how did you influence them i'm seeing the number 44 here yeah there was kind of some divine intervention to be honest um if you don't like to talk about matters of life and death um go ahead and click off now there is your trigger warning to be honest um i think that you might not have realized that in some ways this person feels that you kind of saved their life um changed their life so if it was a healthy connection this person feels like you literally arrived when they were about done with this world like they were ready to check out um, and this is like very intense and in, in sync message they might have tried being a healthy person they tried escapism tactics they tried wearing their their pains as like a shield and being tough and they decided that they were about done and they didn't see how they were really going to fit in and um be long here you might have talked to this person a lot about that about past um pains you might have shared even your own story with them about maybe at some time that you thought things wouldn't get better in life and you thought that maybe you were done with being here and so they see that um example from from you or just that sharing that story with them has made them something about your connection with them has made them change their mind and decide to try things again in this realm to start over that it's not too late to start over and try again um for some of you when you broke up this person was in a horrible place like they felt like you know they they just hit their rock bottom just like the worst of the worst and you know really had this coming to terms with their soul and i had to had to go and see like how to make the the best decisions for their own soul path again and um refresh themselves so it could have been through hard way some of you did have very hard toxic relationships and they had to get beyond that and now they you know feel very free and they've learned a lot about karmic stuff and freeing themselves from soul contracts and things that they don't want and making different choices and being more empowered as you know a person as a spirit here and for some of you um you really helped them through grief and tragedy and turmoil whether it was their own that they were going through or a loved one around and so they were able to get a little bit better i think on um their coping mechanisms yeah some of them had very 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 dark co coping mechanisms and they might still struggle daily with some of those but they're getting better at it and they have um encouragement through it and that can be in different ways some of you you might have been tough on them some of you you might have been more understanding or had even met them in like a rehab or a recovery phase of your guys's life but they're feeling now like they they see more choices they do see that there's other options out there than whatever they thought was the way that they had to handle their life and they're definitely seeing too that um they can co-create with the world and the universe a bit better that they don't have to feel like everything is just this is how it is like this is the bag of curses you were handed at the beginning of your life and now you're stuck with this until you die like you know they have that kind of a cradle to the grave mentality like you know hurry up and do whatever you're gonna do before you die life's coming for you and now they're starting to try to be more lighthearted about things and um change some of that essential doom and gloom vibe that they have and see that they can have some better choices or they can at least enjoy the journey as they go along um whoo yeah some heavy energy scorpio aquarius vibes here um and sometimes you guys might be like really i made them see differently it could just be because you're the same as them in some ways <laughs> you're also like a, always in an existential crisis and they're like damn is that what i sound like when i do that i need to change okay so it depends it depends on your unique relationship that you have but for some of you they were like wow we got to get it together over here we're just doing the most being dramatic letting life pass us by so yes but there is this uh, energy of the intuition of you um just th it, they feel their inner light they feel like they can connect with their spirit again like you know what i mean sometimes we feel like our spirits aren't very connected in our body we have that dissociation yes we have dissociation and this person feels like they connect with the divine energy more with you maybe they have a namaste with your spirit sometimes it just takes you know feeling like somebody sees us like we can have you know 
I don't know, we just need to be seen. We need to be seen sometimes. And that can change everything. Like just one moment, like I've talked about on this channel before, I remember specific moments where it felt like my soul was about to leave my body just from so many sorrows and hard things in the world. And someone just looking me in the eye and acknowledging me as a valuable human being for just a hello, a, a, a good small little heart to heart conversation of just, you know, how are you doing today can change your whole trajectory and re, re um, and meet you at the right time so for some of you you're asking about someone that you didn't have that much contact with but you will never know like they might have had lost somebody that day see how they're carrying like this person in spirit they might have lost like their best friend or they might have dealt with um suicidal tendencies or cutting or addiction or something and your kindness that day or you seeing them help them put down you know the pipe help them put down you know the 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 knife or help them feel like they could um find a different method to cope with grief or call their their grief counselor or their um go to their aa meeting or something differently so for some of you that will really really apply and lagus dealing with emotional things opening up their emotional depth you could change um how they connected to their sensitive self okay living renewal um yeah rebirth like it's it is it's a very profound energy and it feels very beautiful so whether through the tragedy where i feel like if you're somebody that you're still very mad that this person moved on and is doing better and you know that you're pretty much in a toxic place and you're feeling very angry about it like this person came through that rebirth themselves by the skin of their teeth and it would be much better to be happy for them i understand sometimes it's difficult like sometimes people like when they're on drugs or stuff can be like just horrible they can be so horrible it destroys families i know i grew up in it i understand but at some point we have to let them go and try to be free and try to be better people and if we can't do that up close we have to let them do it apart you know and so sometimes it can be hard and we don't want them to see them get better we want you know something we still feel it, like we have a lot look there's like a scorpion on the back like the chip on the shoulder right so for a select few you know please just try if you can't allow this person to have this growth um to put the distance there so you can both have it because through all of this turmoil they are trying they've seen the worst of themselves they've seen the worst of life and they are trying to come out of it now and change for the better okay that doesn't mean it's a change that you get to keep like that you get to keep them that you get to get them your way they're trying to be a whole new person it's almost like an incarnation in the middle of your exist existing life right um and it's very hard earned and hard um one so to speak okay so that for who that applies okay so your advice the six of wands yes literally <laughs> i didn't even look at it is to let them bounce back let them bounce back okay and let yourself bounce back as well the advice cards have been energies that go both ways because here we have choices right ma'at weighs the heart against the feather and sees how pure our intentions and our spirits are once we exit life did we make good choices and when we made wrong ones did we try to rectify them and choose something better and become a better person and this is saying allow both of yourselves to be a better person don't worry about oh well they're getting attention now how dare they it's kind of like that housey song oh you're doing all this without me but sometimes but just because someone was awful to us doesn't mean they haven't learned and grown and had a lot of karma that we didn't see or that they haven't um, learned their lesson when they did that right because the universe isn't always about just karma i'm going to get you back exactly what you did the universe is about enlightenment so it's kind of like if you have a kid you know how sometimes when you're when we were kids we would do something that was so awful and but we had that like coming to god moment and then we got shocked when our parents didn't you know discipline us for it because they saw that we were shook to our very souls and that we fully understood the gravity of what we did and there was no need for punishment because punishment is just when we aren't um understanding that you know certain situations like if you you know hurt somebody seriously something like that you know but and a lot of times it's just the knowledge that we need we need that awakening we need to truly have remorse and sorrow and not do those things again so for some of you you both feel that way you've had that you've been shooketh okay you've been so shooketh and you're trying to rebirth and be reborn and be new people and try different things and that's an amazing change to offer each other you especially like some of you have kids together your kids might never believe it later on in life 
what you guys really went through you know I've seen people like that where they have really good parents and then they say oh yeah well back in the day you know the, this parent you know used to drink or this parent used to run around and have extramarital whatever and the kid you would never believe it because they truly allow themselves to grow and work through that's not saying you have to work through that again if you can't work through it together allow each other apart but this is saying allow each other to bounce back and don't be mad and, and jealous and stuff if they're doing well in life okay because you don't know how the universe done dealt with them and I'm seeing they've been dealt with okay definitely um definitely that could be some changes and some of you are like yep that was me because I put some juju on them for what they did well it happened and now they're coming out of that and the universe is ready to let them be you know better person and stuff and and have their try again okay so let's get some dice and see which ones come up for you guys two dice we got red and green so there could be concerns of um, the heart concerns of finances both coming up here sixes and sixes i think overall a lot of you you still really love this person even when you love them with anger and fire and brimstone you care about this person's soul so a lot of you not all of you had that negative side that we segued for for a while and so if that didn't uh, um you know resonate for you that's okay you know we just gotta have it out there for those who did so that we can have better healthier relationships um but for a lot of you when it comes to love like you guys could be good partners or even if it's like co-parents or family members maybe this was a sibling or something but um that you're reading for but there's there can be a good uh respectful Recipro uh, reciprocal relationship energy here between you guys where you can really just wish the best for each other when it comes to your physical finances and for heart-to-heart -heart concerns it's not always going to be a negative situation it can be one that's very full of love now for those of you that it's been a mostly positive um connection i do see you guys coming back around to each other if it's been and like having a renewed vibe in your relationship that would be beautiful like so beautiful and both of you being ready and willing to join in um, in a real world sense not just up in the ethers but actually in the physical world okay yes so that's what i'm seeing for you number fours or four, yes number fours please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you again on another one bye all right for those of you that chose number five with the juicy blue towel site how did you change them we have some runes over here we're going to save this card for advice. All right. How did you change them? Here we have, let's see, this is the nine of wands. Wow. Okay. The nine of wands. We have the knight of wands. We have the two of wands. The ace of swords. Some of you might have chosen, I think it was option two, the other option that had the Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have LVR, which is Virtual Reality, La Thigab, and El Gluten. Okay, and then let's see, we have Limitless. We'll pull this down here for a moment. Your runes. We have Othila. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm like looking at them. They're so pretty. Um, what is this one called? Wun Wun Wunjo or Wunho. And we ha wait. They don't say the H. <laughs> I'm all with the Lotharia cards. I'm trying to pronounce the J like an H. <laughs> Wunjo. And there is the. This is in Solila. This is the other one. This is um, Iwas. Yes, Iwas. Okay. So there could be the initials O, S, or P that are significant for you guys. Potentially, also the letter Z. So, um, how did you change them? How did you change them? Oh, um, for some of you, they became more defensive. All right. I feel like a lot of you had a very sexual relationship. It could have started on social media and um, through texting and messaging, things of that nature. And you could have made them like gotten rid of some of their rosy ideals that they had about relationships and people. They kind of want to work less at things, um, work less at relationships. 
they they feel like they're stronger in their free will now though so they're more opinionated and they're more set on what they want and don't want in their relationships there could be aries leo sagittarius there could also be gemini aquarius um libra and we do have scorpio okay so they feel now like they're just it's almost that feeling of when you've been in a bad relationship and you break up with somebody and you're just like whatever can't tell me nothing now like screw it i got my walls up i'm gonna you know come out here and catwalk i'm you know i'm um, kicking ass taking names like what i'm gonna do what i want to do with who i want to do it with and i'm not gonna feel guilty about it anymore because i am um I'm able to do what I want basically I'm I'm tired of being held to feel like I can't do what it is I want or that I have to be always the one that is like suffering due to others and in a negative space okay um, so yeah some of them have a very fiery uh, feeling in regards to you they feel like they don't want to feel um, small anymore they don't want to play it small they don't want to feel like someone else is controlling their choices i'm sorry this is not i said suilu this is ingus um yes so uh the letter i could be significant or j for some of you yeah they just they don't want to feel that way anymore they feel like they might feel like so what if i'm defensive in some ways that's how i am um you might have taught them some boundaries in the hard way some of you came in and heart broke them or they feel that way some of you this was like a one night stand um some of you might have just like yeah had a misconnection with them or something in the past and they felt like you guys were supposed to be together they felt like they had initially invested in this relationship and you showed them the meaning of free will because you went and did what you wanted some of you um cheated on them or moved outside the relationship now that it could go both ways maybe they were the one who did all of this but at the end of the day they're deciding to act like a knight of wands reversed about the situation they've become a bit more tougher a bit more de um detached they've desensitized themselves they have become a bit more sharpened and weaponized with their words and learn to just control their image better and to decide that they can do whatever they want to do it's a very sagittarius scorpio aries aquarius way of responding like you know oh well i can be the rebel without the cause then um you think that you can tell me what to do well i'm gonna burn the world down how about that so they've kind of changed for not the best i don't think they um <laughs> i don't think that they they're they're empowered but it's almost like when they're uh you know in the movies when there's like the the storyline of like don't use magic that you can't handle that's kind of their feeling guys um i'm gonna be honest a lot of the options were you know more feel good or positive growth or changes or a mix you know a, a realistic mixed bag they're they feel like they were kind of innocent and sweet and trying to work on this relationship and after this they're like fuck it they ain't working on shit no more uh-uh they don't care like they don't care they're not gonna sit here and do all this work and have nothing good come of it they have a lot of energy they have a lot of sexual energy they um yeah i don't know <laughs> you know they feel like okay well i'm gonna go get my you know success i'm gonna still be popular i'm gonna go out i'm not gonna be a wallflower anymore i'm not gonna feel like i have to be shy and toe your line um now it could be positive you know like when people have like feminist awakenings other people are like scandalized and think it's such a horrible situation but it's not for them they're reclaiming their power and for some of them they think that they're reclaiming their power and doing the best but they're they're kind of awry um hopefully they'll correct sometimes when we're trying to be powerful and um, heal from things we do the most but this person could be kind of spiraling they could be overly partying they could be you know ignoring where they're wounded or hurt and putting up walls but the biggest part of it is like they have that you're not going to get to me vibe they have like i'm not going to let you hurt me or not going to let you feel like you can um change me just because you want to so kind of like energetically bombarding this person or trying to emotionally manipulate this person could have felt emo emotionally manipulated they could feel like you expected things of them just because you guys had chemistry or sexual interaction or emotional spiritual interaction 
and they're really not having that they they're like oh i'll t i'll show you my boundaries i'll show you my power my free will and that doesn't mean that i'm not connected to the universe or that i'm not you know very very a very strong energetic person um i'm well aware of the games and the matrix and i can do whatever i want with them so this could be somebody who um is like a social media influencer or who has hopes to be um but they just feel like you know what they're going to kind of go and crash through life, live a bit wild, keep their boundaries up, not take shit from anybody. And they're going to go and like, oh, I'm going to be successful. Like you just sit back and watch and you'll see. It's kind of their vibe. Um, yeah, with Jetta. Yeah, they kind of have, they might have some, I feel like they have concrete plans, like within the next year or this amount of time that they're going to come and they're going to show you. And some of you are like, wait, this is my friend. Like, what the heck? Um, they could just feel in some ways that you don't take them seriously or that you judge them for their sex life. You judge things about them and they feel like, oh, you think that I'm like less than you. Well, I'm powerful too. And I can also make things happen in this world. And I don't have to do things the way that you said or have to have had your education or your spiritual energy or do my empathic spiritual life the way you say I can blaze my own trail and I'm going to be successful and every time that you judge me or try to control me energetically or emotionally or even by outright displays of power like I'm just going to put up another wall to you and to anybody who hurts me like that and I'm just going to keep powering forward okay so this yeah this is a person who really needs their own space to have their own control in their life they don't feel like anybody else know is in control of their destiny or you know allowed to just oh well i could proclaim this about you so you have to do this this and that um the more that they feel that the more they're gonna be like go and do what they want kind of vibe is what they carry internally um yeah and so for some of you it's, it's a more internal thing where they just there's another wall there's another um them not listening to that communication um i feel like a lot of you they will speak their truth though so you will know you will know when they don't want to do whatever you will know when they're not emotionally connecting with you like that's not like that's real i feel like they're pretty raw a lot of these could be mercury and fire signs aries sag leo there could be um north node in aquarius sagittarius aries very independent um kind of vibe scorpio where they're meant to just go out there and live life on the edge to the hilt and again it's not that they're any less powerful um they could just realize their power more and more i saw this meme and it was like don't you guys realize every time you break my heart i just come back funnier and prettier right and like crush life basically and that's this person's vibe like they're not going to stay downtrodden and crushed they're just going to learn to keep um like for some of you you might have been the last straw like a fight that they had or a judgment or you wanting to change them could have been the last straw and they're like that's it. I'm never letting someone. I'm never letting someone um, criticize me, edit me, or change me at all. Some of you, you um, help uh, gas this person up. You could be a fire sign or something. You helped make this person be like, you know, feel like, you know what? You don't have to take shit from nobody. Don't be over here feeling like people can walk all over you and just come in and take what they want and so they're carrying that energy the advice eight of pentacles reversed again um this might not be the best like working relationship there's definitely advice not to compete when it comes to career or jobs and not to try to fix them like that's their energy is i'm not your fixer upper like maybe they were more um passive and would let people make changes to them or decide like what the relationship would be and let other people kind of you know they just would go along with that but now they're not they're the knight of wands reverse not upright they're not just going along and being jolly about whatever comes their way they're being a lot more critical having intense boundaries um they could have grown into their rising sign they could be like an aries scorpio sagittarius rising sign where they're just like no back up off me all right q days loaf back up off me back up off me okay that's their vibe let's see what the dice all right <laughs> both fiery um passionate energy i feel like this is very root chakra energy let's take a roll here we have a one and a six 
so i feel like this person for some of you they're not going to push you away they're just going to kind of um you know scorpio kind of energy or like cancers they'll be like okay i'll remember that like that's the vibe like if you they, they'll change but it's it's not always like oh i'm changing transforming it's like oh you just changed the dynamics of our relationship by um judging me for sleeping with that person oh you just made this change in our relationship by xyz did you get back up again? <laughs> you silly baby. I love you. You doing the laugh like on the puppets? <laughs> um yeah so this person really has changed to learn to have a separate identity within a connection and not just to always um merge yeah to, to stop merging so much in a particular relationship and let another person take over who they are what the relationship means all of those kind of things so for some of you they still you know have some affection or love there um they're going to become more truthful they're going to become more um up, outright they're going to have very intense boundaries and if they feel like those are encroached on they're going to disappear or they're going to just be like so intense about what they want and they don't want um and they they a lot of them will just be internally kind of marking different changes so you might be like well why do they act this way to me now but you don't know all those little things that they didn't like and that maybe they were tired of speaking on or that they're like you should just know to stop having this um lack of emotional boundaries with me or whatever judging me they're just going to start taking little privileges away basically so that's kind of the way that they're changing in this relationship it's not um it's not in a way that's necessarily beneficial if you're trying to enforce what you want relationship wise but if you were to let them be their own person i feel like they would be open to a relationship with you although there is a more friendship relationship there so that's what i'm seeing for you number five please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you again on another one all right one more to go last but not least okay so for those of you that chose number six with the merlinite how did you change them here's some runes this card here we will see the advice at at the end <laughs> all right we have the five of cups reversed we have the knight of cups the three of swords the three of wands the eight of cups move forward that's so beautiful i love that card el dj el web design el troll oh gosh all right and then let's see the runes here that we have we have okay so we also have awas and um uh tiwas and what was that last one i forgot the name um pull up and Zeus. that's right okay for the runes so what i'm seeing for you guys a lot of you have um the change that they're feeling mostly has been the change of third party situations in relationships either they might have walked out on you or you walked out on someone else or i'm hearing that uh song you by lloyd um i'm a player yes it's true but i'll change the game for you i want to see what it do okay can i be your friend this is how i feel that whole song um i'm gonna need in love so let's get up out of here oh you just my type the whole song <laughs> so um for some of you they're trying to get over the grief and heartbreak in the past that made them act so ridiculous okay and put the partying ways aside or at least enjoy uh enjoy having you come to the party with them and move forward and use all of this uh activity and energy that they have to have a more active um partnership a more creative fun um committed partnership then be all over the place now for some of you that you've already broken up it's not as good this person is going and partying this person the change that they're having 
inspired by you <laughs> the baby is trying to feed you applesauce to the microphone so <laughs> so just so you know you're being fed applesauce right now um <laughs> oh. um so the change yeah that some of you have is that this person's going out and partying they've left emotional connection behind they don't want to feel heartbreak anymore they could be trolling on your social media though like they're stalking around maybe they've never been like that before maybe they haven't been the type that in order to get over a situation they have to go and party hard and like do the most like that <laughs> and you don't know you might be like really them um <laughs> Okay, yeah, so for some of you guys, the change has been that this person is being obsessive and like wonky and just acting like cray cray and maybe they didn't really do that before but this heart heartbreak or separation or jealousy just like gets to them. Now it's not to say it's your fault, it's just something in your guys' energies and everything are hitting right where this person is very obsessive. This person might feel like there's heartbreak. You might be like, what are you talking about? We haven't even had a heartbreak or there's no third party. They could feel like, oh my gosh, who are you dating? I know that you're going to go and date someone else. Um, <laughs> I know that. Like they're just doing the most over here, having angst. They could have a private profile that, um, that views like to view your uh, page even if they're also friended on it they might go and like look at where you're partying who you're with and they feel like um part of them wants to move forward more than ever before with a relationship with you and part of them feels like they are just done with the whole thing and they've never been so done in their life so it's kind of dramatic it's very super dramatic um for those of you who there's a good energy there but there hasn't been any um forward moving right now that could be why now there is this energy here that this person could be um they could definitely be like a social justice person because we have all of these runes of like equality and warrior and all of this kind of energy down here so or maybe you are the three of wands can sometimes show that people who are like um firefighters or just like the helpful brig brig brigade right <laughs> um that come out and protect everyone else and really uh help they could feel like they are more outspoken and care about like who talks shit and who gives a problem all right we don't want no problems gang gang over here um you know just ready to protect their crew with the the spider web energy over here um they might feel like yeah like they're more freaking out out about exes maybe they never cared about exes but all of a sudden like with you they really care about exes and stuff but i do feel like they're trying to move forward they're trying to get over the past and grief and not be so ridiculous but they've been doing the most they could have some gemini scorpio virgo in their chart um they could have fire or air and we said the, the water so they're just <laughs> they're kind of all over the place to be honest um they do want to have more equality and stuff in relationships so for some of you if that can't be found or friends um like they could be getting more jealous of friends and stuff than they have before or maybe you have uh you are and they're not used to that dynamic they maybe they always date within their friend circles so they're not used to somebody coming and telling them who they can and can't be friends with and so there is an aspect of like nagging and um kind of fudging up each other's life that has been a big change for them and a little bit frustrating but they also feel more romantic and sensitive and wanting to move this connection forward than they have in like a very long time um even if it kind of ruins maybe you guys are already in other relationships or partnerships they might feel like they want to move forward with this romantic connection here even at the same time as walking away from another relationship okay um that is the change now some of them feel like you've changed so if you're the one who you've just been you know like i said just nagging all the time and you've been like uh you know threatening them that you can go have other people and you've been getting very like suspicious and always controlling of the social medias and really hateful of their friends they feel like this is pushing them away and that's the change that now they're like they feel like you changed and they're gonna go and find love elsewhere because they're done just feeling like you know always in grief never happy nothing is ever good enough they want to move forward away from this connection especially if you've already broken up and they just want to go ahead and be happy and find satisfaction elsewhere so the advice is there's a lot of different scenarios in this y'all um the advice is the hierophant so they're saying for those of you that it is good and moving forward and you're getting out of crappy relationships some of you this is the first like 
potential that you've had to be a healthy relationship they're saying let the other shit go all right shoot put a ring on it get serious um not to say put a ring before the time but they're saying let all of that go let this grow into something solid don't damage it and keep triangulating and always having a problem and finding someone to be insecure about and doing all that kind of stuff and being messy um you know be very uh solid and stable in your energy that you put to this connection but keep your boundaries but see the potential longevity um if you guys have been parted and it's been more of the one of the toxic connections the advice here is to focus on um you know we have all this kind of social justice and making sure there's equality and relationship and everything so it's like focus on if you guys already have a family together or if you guys are in the same workplace or school or social group focus on just you know having peace with that and figuring out your boundaries and not making it miserable for everyone around because for those of you that it's been negative um they might have let this relationship affect all their other relationships more than they did other like in the past that could be the change and it could be more very miserable for like your family members your in-laws your um you know your kids uh friends mutual friends and all of that so it's time to move forward either way so if this has been a more positive connection and you guys are helping each other discover love after very painful negative situations it's saying stop with bringing the baggage from the past into the current as advice and let yourself just be stable and happy together without having to prove it to people in the past without having to bring up and feel like oh i should be spying oh i should be you know doing this this and that there could be acting out of fears okay acting out of loss and triggers that were going on for those of you that you know that this was a toxic relationship and this person's, you know, ran off with someone else or has moved off in a different way, um, they might feel like that's out of character for them and that they haven't done that um, or they haven't done it in the same way or for the same reasons. The advice is just to stay level-headed, to keep your stuff in a row, keep your boundaries if you ever have to deal with this person again, um, and really just make sure that you protect your own interests and not let this person shake it up and don't go infiltrating into that person's life. Just kind of stay in your own lane okay um so let's see some advice from the dice and further information on how you change this person we have the spirit dice and the dice of the dice of the heart yeah we just we have a lot of third party energy here so even if you didn't know it they could have been with someone else when you guys got together or started talking they could be with somebody else now if it's a new one or it could have been you know somebody that they're not over with that they kept trying to get back um for some of you that was the change and you're like yeah they were and now we've been together and that's over and so it's just bringing up because this is how did you change them that that was a big change for them and something they wouldn't have done but for some of you um it's either that you are tempting them out of a relationship or that they are being tempted out of this partnership so soul wise you guys are meant to kind of challenge each other to open things up now i did see this will apply to a few for some of you um the change is that you guys are exploring um open relationships um polyamory or some kind of open relationship and it could be very hit and miss it could be something that it didn't end up working out or some of you you explored like having a break in the relationship and trying to see how that would go and then some parties could have gotten jealous but that could have been a big change you guys could have had like a different type of relationship than they normally do or maybe they don't normally have a side person or be a side person than they did so you guys you know the spirit just sees all of that as experiences quite often although you know if we're cruel and we hurt people then we can have some karma you know but um or just they're, they're gonna throw some shade our way but um spirit just sees a lot of experimentation in your guys's connection a lot of um change and upheaval if we don't go with it and learn the lessons of it and find who we are more individually and be truthful for it then this energy can just feel like chaos so for some of you uh, uh, you know for them this just felt like a chaotic situation and they might have been like what the hell even if i was a little messy before it wasn't chaos like i knew what it was like um so that could be the change spiritually um some of you just feel like it's just static like it's just a static energy spiritually and it's not clear anymore and you don't know what's going on with that this person could be in music too in some way they might have a sound cloud they might be an artist of some nature um, because we do have the merlinite or you could be um yes so heart wise for some reason they feel like this relationship opened up to help them love other people 
or to love more than one person. So however that came about as we discussed um, with it. So yeah, stick to your grounds, find out what your boundaries are, find out you guys might end up being more traditional than this person in this relationship would allow. But for, ever, for whatever reason, the experience was something that maybe helped you learn your boundaries with the Eight of Cups here, or it helped you just explore something different that in the cosmic scheme of things your spirit wanted to. Not saying that any pain or toxicity was okay or you had to experience that, but that the um, certain dynamics that came out in the relationship were things that you wanted to experience okay so that's what i see for you guys please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you again on another one bye